What's up YouTube, it's the Big Kahuna back again with another video. Now, just the other day, I had made a video and it got blocked because I used some, some copyrighted music. The same copyrighted music that I used a few years ago and there was no problems. But, I've been gone for over a year so things have changed. And that's why I did that video and that's why I'm doing this video. Hopefully, this video won't suffer the same fate. If it does, I will just simply take off the music and re-upload this video. And after that video, I found out something else that I didn't like. And I'm going to talk about in this video. But I'm a person that I believe I keep it 100. Of course, there's always going to be those people out there who go, he's a fanboy, he's a this, he's a that, and all this other stuff. But that would be their opinion. But I do keep it 100. If there's something wrong with the platform that I prefer, then I'm going to talk about it. Now, a lot of people are not going to care about some of the shit that I'm going to say. Because there are some of the people who didn't care about none of this shit. But in the beginning, when they had the reveal of the Xbox, which was two weeks before E3, they showed all the features of the xbox and i was loving everything i saw i love the whole thing with the connect the voice controls i love the snap feature i love the fact that you could be on skype talking shit and beating your friends ass um i love the way you could navigate the ui by using your voice or using your hand i loved all that stuff and then of course down the years as they added more stuff to the box a lot of those features were just features that was like mind blowing, at least to me. Um, anytime they do an update, it's for a few reasons. To fix bugs and glitches, to streamline your UI, or to add functionality to the box. But when they add things to your platform or your box, they also secretly take shit away. So years later or a little over a year later i come back the stuff i bought my box for most of that stuff is gone you can no longer do the snap feature you can no longer do the skype while you're playing your friend beating that person down and talking shit to them at the same time you can no longer do skype while i'm playing madden and watching the football game in the corner of the tv um, you can no longer use the hand to navigate the dashboard just in case like wifey or girlfriend is asleep and they don't want to hear you say Cortana or Xbox go here, Xbox go there, or Cortana, Cortana, Cortana. You could just use your hand and navigate the dashboard. All that stuff is gone. Then one year they come out and they bragged about Cortana. She's your personal assistant. While you're in game doing whatever you're doing, whether you're online or in a single player game, you can get Cortana to do anything you need her to do. Whether it be invite a person to a party chat while you're still playing and not have to leave the game or anything. Um, find out who's online by asking Cortana. Um, go to a certain thing by asking Cortana. Send a message by asking Cortana all while you're still playing your game. Now that feature's still there, and maybe it's just my update, I don't know. But now, I just used the feature a couple days ago, and this is what happened. Cortana, invite D-Nick to a party chat while I'm online playing my multiplayer game. A overlay slides down, pauses the game, she invites him to the party chat, then she slides back up, and then the game continues. What the hell is up with that? She's supposed to be an assistant, not assist pausing my game. I can pause my game myself. I don't need an assistant to do that. However, I do need somebody to go invite somebody or find out if somebody's on or send messages on and play my games without leaving my game. That's what I wanted. So what happened to Cortana now? It makes me want to go back to just saying Xbox. Furthermore, also, I found out after the video that I just 
posted the other day. I did what I did so many years before that. I would, on my Xbox, go straight to YouTube on Xbox and go ahead and upload my video to X, to um, YouTube. Now, I go there and what do I find? I can't upload my, my um, content to YouTube. I'm in a party chat and some YouTubers and friends are in there and they're telling me, oh yeah, this is how you do it. Go to your PC. I don't have a PC. Okay, well go to your phone or your tablet. Go to OneDrive. Download it from OneDrive to your phone or your tablet and then send it to YouTube. What? What? You mean we went from doing that before to now doing it from the Xbox back to doing it again. Microsoft, you're killing me. You're killing me. While you do add other features to the box that are awesome, you take other features away that are just as awesome. Like they have the feature where, and I always wanted to, to do something like this, but I just found out that you can actually, if you on the Xbox app, you can get on your phone, see who's in the party chat, and join the party chat from your phone. That is awesome. However, all the other shit that made this thing awesome is gone. Microsoft and the stuff that you do have here doesn't work the way that you advertised it now. So are you guys going to fix this thing? I mean, I know you don't care about the Kinect, which I still care about. I know you don't care about the Upload Studio, which us YouTubers, the ones that still use it, are faced with coming up with all kinds of inventive ways to use the Kinect. I don't know what to say. I still love the Xbox brand, but Microsoft, can you please fix that shit? Do something. I mean, oh, I, I understand some of the stuff was done to either make the UI faster or to up the speed of the box or whatever you did, but it's killing the reason why I got this box in the first place. Just keeping it 100. And as I always say, fanboys don't love their favorite system. They just hate yours. Peace.